Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Two Cell Math Back channel on YouTube. Today we're talking about different difference quotient. This is part two of three, and part two deals of, with the overview. Um, so let's pick up where we left off. Difference quotient is a quick way for us to find a slope for a function. Okay, so let's start a relatively easy function. Let's say this function is equal to x squared. For me to find a slope at a certain point, Okay, let's say 1 and 1. Okay, here's my y, here's my x. Now, if you have taken the calculus down the road, you'll know that this is pretty easy. The first derivative of the function is 2x. So if you want to know the slope at 1, 1, all I have to do is say slope at 1 is equal to 2. Then I'm done. Okay. Now, have not learned all the shortcuts. I have not dealt with the base foundation or the concept of derivative, the only other path we have is to find the derivative or find a slope here is to taking a little bit 1 plus delta x. Okay, so move a little bit over and then I have a rise over run situation like what we picked up last time. Okay, so then what I have to do then is using this difference quotient method. Difference quotient method. So I have f of 1 plus little, just a little bit over 1, minus f of 1, this whole thing gives me rise. Okay, because it's changing x, it's changing y. And then from there, I need to divide by 1 plus delta x minus 1. Okay, this gives me the run, which is delta x. As you recognize, that's a familiar slope definition. Okay, so let's actually go in there and calculate what we have. So for this one, we're going to go, since f, the function says, whatever you give me, I'm going to square it. So I have 1 plus delta x okay, minus 1, um, plug it in there, I have 1 squared. On the bottom, I have delta x because 1 cancels out. Now, what I have to do is actually open it up. I have 1 plus delta x plus delta x squared minus 1, 1 on 1 cancels again, divided by delta x. And so all I'm doing is copying it out. And then from here, I have delta x, 2 plus delta x over delta x. This cancels. So I have 2 plus delta x. Since delta x is so small, okay, when I take a limit of this difference quotient, as delta x approaching a tiny little number, I'll see at, at the point 1 and 1, the function of fx equal to x squared has slope of uh, 2. Okay. Now this long, big, drawn out method, all in the end, can be replaced with a derivative, first derivative, and then we're done. Okay, so basically the overview for this one, for part two of the three series part, difference quotient is a long, tedious way to calculate slope at a certain point. Now, can you imagine uh, how much work it would be if I want to find another point here? Let's see, at, uh, x equal to 4. Then I have to go through this entire process, okay, because the slope when x equal to 4 would be different than when x equal to 1. I have to go through exactly the same process all over again, and then I'll have a different slope, and that will not be 2. It will be something else. So later on, what we can do is developing this concept of first derivative. Then at x equal to 4, I have a slope of prime of 4 equal to 8. Okay, then I'm done again. So it's a shortcut by finding the first derivative. All right? So this is the overview for difference quotient. And then part three, we'll be talking about examples. Okay, so it's going to be a longer example clip. And I hope this helps. Have a confident day.